Okay. Done. Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to the Chaos. That is the Crimson Guitars custom shop and, uh, well, also a great guitar giveaway corner. But uh, at the moment, uh, we need to get you assigned to have Crimson Custom Shop on that because this is just where you work at the moment. This is me. This is you. So this was a prototype that we put together uh, coming up on a year ago now. Mm. And it was an experimentation in many different things. Now, we've got a rosewood neck, we've got a, a, a small headstock. It is quite small. It's a little... <laughs> anyway, uh, locking Goto 510 tuners, fantastic. Rosewood back plates. Uh, the shape is obviously very offset, and we've got a sort of Jaguar offset y uh, budget trim system in it at the moment. Custom handmade crimson P90 and humbucker. Uh, an aluminium scratch plate that has been. Uh, adjusted and, and messed around with we use brass black on aluminium which then has abraded away in a very pleasing mm. sort of thing uh, and we've also got uh, mother of pearl inlays uh, square inlays with a hollow one at the 12th now the other thing is this is just over eight pounds but it's also solid english ash yeah well not quite solid what i did was uh I, I delegated this because you know, don't ask me to draw anything. Supremely heavy, solid ash body, jointed in the middle. Doesn't have a back, doesn't have a top, but it is hollow. How mm. did I do it? Oh, I know how you did it. You went on the side? Before we jointed it, yeah. put it on the CNC machine, we bought a really expensive, oh, very okay. long bit. And the CNC's gone in and hollowed it out, nice. matching the curves. Ooh, matching the curves. Yes. Yeah. To the point that we were actually a little bit scared doing the calves here because we weren't sure exactly where. It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the first prototype, and it worked, and it's very lightweight. So look, this is a cool thing. It is still number zero zero zero. Yeah, uh, or negative oh one, I suppose. We are in the process of four hour great guitar build off entry, doing the proper full prototype that we hope will be. Something that we use as uh, the basis for a new model at Crimson. So what we've done is we've gone and got a, a mastery trim system, which you love. Yeah, I do love. I love. They're incredible. We've got I the love, love. Well. Uh, Josh is going to install that and get this up and running. I mean, now, the thing is, this is the brushed one. So you're also going to have to brush the humbucker. Yep. Okay, and get that matching. Other than that, it's a bit of a Luthier's teardown and uh, a bit of a, yeah, yeah, let's change the thing, look over the guitar, uh, weigh it, play it, yep. give some demos. I, I, I think it's gorgeous, and I think it's going to sound amazing. P90, P90 at the neck and yeah. uh, humbuck at the bridge, Full on. always good. Essentially, mm -hmm. this was an exercise to see how rapidly we could go from concept to finished guitar, which is why there are some problems. Literally, I said, okay, here's what we want to do. Dun, dun, dun. You guys have got a week. And we literally went from zero to fully manufactured playing guitar. It took them two weeks. Yeah. But well, with all yeah, that, that, you did all that as well, though. I mean, all that, yeah. yeah. Um, That's pretty good it going. Was, it was fun. It, yeah. It was interesting to see what happened. And uh, uh, the problem is because it was slightly rushed, there were some things that design-wise I wouldn't, I shouldn't really, li just, just not. Sure, it's a prototype. Uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye, I'm gonna go cry in the corner. Yeah, you do that. Right, I'm gonna change this mastery bridge into this guitar. Before I do that, I just wanna kiss Mastery's butt for a little while because they are so cool. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. You actually get excited about spending, you know, nearly 400 quid on a bridge. You don't feel ripped off at all. I mean it. They even put straw in the box. They're beautifully made. They look kind of like the future whilst being like the most kind of vintage uh, trem system available. They're just a really, really, really nice bit of kit. I highly recommend it. They ain't cheap. They don't feel cheap either. So anyway, we're gonna swap this out now. So let's get stuck in and pull this thing apart.
you don't want to top and you want to lose some weight, especially with ash, because we use a lot of ash and ash is really heavy. Before you join your top, before you join your body, the two parts, you can just go in from the side. You don't have to do it as fancy as Ben did with a CNC set to depth with the profile. You can just go in with a great big 16 mil drill bit or something like that. So they've got a hole in the bottom. What you need to do is find, I think that's an M8 bolt. Yeah. And you just put a long M8 bolt through. Mm -hmm. and it'll just push up to the bottom. Oh, Ooh, um, that's a good idea. I like that. I can't. Really it's not going to pump through. It's, there's well, enough that's on. That's the thing. Oh. If you've, <laughs> that... got a, if, you, if you've got a particularly delicate guitar and there's a, not very much there, then yes, you could pump through. But uh, as you push, you'll feel. Yeah, well, I'll happens. put it in and then perhaps I could measure it and see how much. But, uh, yeah, I think it's just standard M8. And, yeah. Uh, now, some, some manufacturers have it's cast and yeah, it yeah. doesn't go all the way through. Sure. But, uh, these, I think, you should be fine. Oh, bro. So, top tips. Ben's top tips. Cool. Thank you. Okay, just a quick interlude. Ben's just given me this really cool technique of getting the, uh, the bridge posts out where I just use a bit of M8 bar that goes all the way through and hits the, the back of the guitar, essentially. But because I'm scared, first of all, I'm going to actually measure how far down that's gone because if I've only got five mil of body on the other side of this, I don't really want to drive a piece of M8 thread through the back of the body. 44 mil body. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's touching after 28 mil. What's that, 16? I don't know, someone will comment, won't they? Go on, commenter, tell me what that is, but it's about 16 mil, something like that. Nailed it. My bridge post housings are different sizes. Our new mastery one is about five mil shorter than the other one. Who cares? I care because the ground is going in right at the bottom of this cavity here and this thing isn't going to touch it. So I think we are going to have to make an adjustment there and push the ground in further up so that this makes contact. The housings were a different size to the mastery ones. So we're going to have to plug these holes with some dowel, redrill to the right size for the masteries. Masteries? Yeah. Ooh, tidy. Very nice. Now, I'm not saying I would expect anything less from my comrades here at Crimson, but let's just take a minute to, to celebrate this loveliness, shall we? It is very, very pretty.
is the best bit. Oh, click. I'm going to give you a little demo, but first let me just tell you what I've done. We've sacked off the old style trem system. That's on the floor. That's where it's staying. Put in this mastery system, which is just absolutely, just blows it out of the water. Um, we've also just changed the cover out to kind of fit with the brushed look, which is looking pretty sick as well. Basically just giving it set up, put some new strings on it. And it sounds wicked. Let's run through it. Lovely jubbly. Let's go for the middle. And finally, let's take it up to the P90 and then let's do a big fat trem at the end and see if it stays in tune. Let's weigh this beastie, shall we? All right, so that's that. This one weighs in at 8.4 pounds, which is 3.76 kilograms. Yeah. This could be yours, so good luck with that. Check the link in the description, you can win this guitar. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether it's going to be on our own site, which is still in pro progress, or on uh, the third-party platform we've been using, but, you know, link, description, this guitar could be yours. <laughs>